circumcision is not an Islamic duty. It is still prevalent in the cultural literature and different societies of the world. What does Islam say about male and female circumcision? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video. Al Quran Murshidin. This video is all about circumcision and the male and female circumcision. What Islam says about this uh, practice. One of our viewers has requested me to make this video in English or Arabic. Arabi. So I am making this video in English. Already make this video in, in Urdu. So they requested that these people requesting me that make this video in English. It has happened all over the world and uh, you can see uh, on your picture you can see the, the instrument which is which are used for female circumcision and this is unhygienic form of uh, instrument so be, uh, before uh, proceeding uh, proceeding a few important points i want to uh, share with you that i am not targeting any sect it is not necessary to agree with me i am not insisting you to believe me i have put the matter before you if it appeals even the slightest then you must read the verses of quran once and confirm it I will make my point by keeping the verses of Quran in front of you. I have no personal quarrel with anyone. This is my own understanding of Quran. I apologize. I apologize if anyone was offended. Your questions have the quality of knowledge for me. I must think about them and try to answer them. So there are three cases for which I will fight. Case number one: circumcision is not a Muslim obligation. But a cultural practice that has been practiced throughout the world since ancient times. Case number two: the poor, the proof of circumcision in Islam is found only in traditions, in which circumcision is not only mentioned for men but also for women. And even in today's era, circumcision of women is considered mandatory in some Muslim countries of the world. Case number three: circumcision does not exist in Quran and has. Nothing to do with Islam. History of circ uh, circumcision. Three reasons for circumcision in the world. There are only there are only three reasons. The number one reasons is religious responsibility. Number two, cultural practice, and number three, medical conditions. Controversy over circumcision, wealth and organization. Although infant and child circumcision is common in many countries, in many cultures, of opponents of act have raised ethical and legal questions regarding its lack of informed consent and question number violation of human rights.
so what the bible the old testament torah say about uh, the circumcision in genesis the book of genesis uh, verses uh, book of genesis number 17 verses 10 to 15 now we will read uh, number 10 this is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and this seed after the every man child among you shall be circumcised number 11 and you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin and it shall be a token of the covenant me and between me and you number 12 and he that is 8 days of old shall be circumcised among you every man child in your generation he that is born in the house or brought with money of any stranger which is not of the seed number 13 he that is born in the house and he that is brought with ma- uh, the money must needs to be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant number 14 and the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised that soul that soul shall be cut off from his people he broke my covenant and this is written in the old testament now we will go for next what the holy bible new testament say so there is no circumcision in the new testament circumcision is clearly described in the old testament as we see and as a covenant between god and all jewish men male it is not uh, talking about this not talking about <laughs> now we will see a uh, scholar of different school of thoughts have different opinion on male and female circumcision in islam which are based only on traditions not quran i'm talking about the traditions here you can see the total references i have collected from uh, the traditions the numbers also given here sahi bukhari sahi muslim ahmad ibn ammal sunan abu daud sahi muslim jami at tirmizi sahi bukhari and uh, mufrid other books are also there and their international numbers are mentioned you can go and see and read the male and female uh, the talking about the male and female circumcisions circumcisions now what school of thought said now malki holds the view that it is a wajib obligatory for males and sunnah optional for females and the hanafi view is that it is sunnah optional act for both males and females shafi view is that it is as wajib obligatory for both males and females humbly have two opinion it is wajib for both male and females it is wajib for males and makruma mak- honorable for female Shia scholar said FGM is permissible but not obligatory for women. He also stated that if the husband wants his wife to be circumcised then it might be carried out if it is not harmful for her. Smiley said circumcision is not obligatory for women but they are ordered to submit to circumcision in honor of their husbands. Women are not obliged obliged a uh, circumcision for women is makru makruma and for men it is sunnah and some said it is farida but it is farida means obligation the and the holy quran says laqad khalaqna al insan fi ahsan taqweem we have certainly created man in the best in the best of stature it means that allah says i may i have made the human being with perfectly there is no any you know there is no any uh, defect on it the creation of human being in quran is a masterpiece so these are the 
uh, verses selected verses from Quran where you can understand the, that how the creation of human being is a masterpiece so Quran 23 14 then we develop the drop into a clinging clot of blood then develop the clot into a lump of flesh then develop the lump into bones then clothes the bones with flesh then we brought it into being as a new creation so blessed is Allah the best of all creators and, and, and again Quran 27 88 the work of Allah who perfected all things Quran 20, 32 7 to 9 verses who has perfected everything he's created and he originated the creation of human kind from clay then he made his descendants from an extract of a humble fluid then he fashioned them and had a spirit of his own creation breathed into them and he gave you hearing sight and intellect yet you hardly give any thanks so it proved that all the video proved that circumcision is not a Muslim obligation it is a cultural practice that has been practiced throughout the world since ancient times evidence of circumcision in Islam is found only in traditions not only male circumcision is mentioned in traditions but women are also said to be circumcised even in today's era female circumcision is considered mandatory in some Muslim countries of the world Sadaqallahu Ali Ulazim